Hello, researcher. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to prepare temperature map. After watching this tutorial, you can prepare maximum temperature map, minimum temperature map, and average temperature map. Here, one data source, CRU data. It is available for whole world. Just click it, this first link, CRU data dot UA dot AC dot UK. There are various versions are available. Latest version is CRU TS version 4.06. So you can find one local copy. Just click it, this local copy. Then this one main grid data set here. And there are some variable, climatic variable, like precipitation data, minimum temperature, mean temperature, and this one maximum temperature. Now we can find various time series data. Okay, in this tutorial, I'll show how to prepare 10 year FHS long-term temperature map. So for this purpose, I need 10 years data. Here one option, 10 years data from 2011 to 2020. So it is 10 year data set. Just click it over here. After clicking it, it will be downloaded. Okay, so download is completed. Now go to show folder that just open it and extract. Click it OK. Now close this one. Now open ArcMap. I'm using ArcMap 10.4. Close this one. Now go to Arc Toolbox and open here multi-dimensional tool, this one. Then make NetCDF raster layer. We can convert NetCDF to raster layer. So just browse here and find your folder, download, and here CRU data. Just click it and open it. Here variable maximum temperature, then X dimension longitude, Y dimension latitude, everything is okay. Just we have to change band dimension. We have to change here time. Everything is okay. Just click it okay. Now it is first thing. It will take some time because it is whole world data, 10 year FHS data. We can also extract this data in CSV file. Now we have to add here study area map. This one, a basin, you should add here study area map in WGS format, not UPM format. Okay, just click it and zoom to layer. This one. Now zoom out a little bit. Okay, this is visible window. Now right click here, data and export data. I'll export this visible window. That's been current, data frame current. Just select it, data frame current, and select your folder. I have created one folder, Tmax, just select it and add it. Click it, okay. Yes, I am to export it. Okay. Now see, it's only your visible area. Now go to again our toolbox, data management tool here. Then raster, then raster processing. We have to composite all this band. So select it, composite band, here browse button. Just browse it, Tmax. Here on symbol, this one, just double click this symbol, select first one, and press shift button and select last one. That's when you have to select all the bands, from one to 120, because this is a 10 year, 10 into 12, 120. Tmax composite. Save it. Click it OK. This is very small area. Remove this one now. Now go to Arc Toolbox again. This time go to Special Analysis Tool. Here. Then Local. Then we have to calculate cell statistics. Just click in cell statistics. 
Remax, change it. Tmax 2011 to 2020. We have to select overall statistics mean because it is temperature data. So this is a mean temperature. It is Sikkim. This season falls in Sikkim. That's why temperature maximum temperature falls highest temperature 28.72 and lowest temperature 4.94. Now go to Arctool box again. Now go to conversion tool. This time we have to convert from raster to point. So here from raster, now raster to point. Select this raster data. Now this one value. We have to change this path to max point. You can give any name. Click it OK. Here, this point. Now remove this one. Again, go to our toolbox. Then special analysis tool here. Then interpolation. You can use IDW for this interpolation. Tmax point. Instead of point ID, we have to select Git code. So just select Git code and Tmax. Tmax dot tif evs evs tmax dot tif now see cell size 0 0.004 this is a cell size if you want to convert this one in meter then you have to project this one so right click go to data frame now coordinate system we have to select your coordinate system it is false in utm zone 45 select it now go to data and export data. Select this data frame, Tmax point, UTM. Save it, click it OK. Yes. Now go to actual box again, special analysis tool, interpolation, IDW. Now select it UTM. Git code instead of Point ID, we have to select Git code. Now, FRS Tmax dot TIF, which is raster data. So, extension should be TIF. Then, see this one output cell size. It should be your choice, your requirement. So, I want to convert into 30 meter. Now, go to environment, processing extent. Default. Default should be our study area. So basin in my case. Now raster analysis, mask as basin, basin WGS. Take it okay and okay. So now go to holo, make holo. Okay. This our Tmax map. This one layout view, select it. Full extent. If we remove this, remove this one. Now, okay, change it. This class way into five, nine class, so you can change it. Symbology, here yeah, nine, we can change it to our requirement, suppose five, level, format level, we can change decimal, suppose to decimal. You can change color according to your choice. You can choose a single color because it is a single phenomena. Suppose this color. Now right click again, go to properties. Now grid. Select new grid. Next, next, next. You can place a border. Finish, apply. Now see, it is look like. Now I want to change something. Go to properties. I want to change 
this is not visible. So I need to increase size. Suppose 14. Apply. Now here, this one, this orientation, you can change this vertical orientation. So go to properties again. So vertical orientation, this one, or vertical level, left and right. This one, left side and right side. Apply. Okay. Now I need to remove also this line. So here line, do not show line. If you want to change this interval, now here three, here one, two, three, four, in x axis, three and y axis, 15, 15. Apply, okay. I think it is okay now. So go to insert here, listen. Next, 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 and finish. This all legend. We can customize this legend also. Let's yes, go to properties and style. You can choose any style. I have to choose this one and increase size. Font size 14. Okay. This look like. So I need to change this name. If it's T-Max 2011 to 2020. Apply and okay. Head pen. Okay. Select again, select element. We can increase the size. 32, if we, 31, select 31, then it will be increased again. 30, we can increase a little bit. Okay, now go to insert again, not arrow. You can select anyone according to your choice. Not arrow should be placed in right hand upper side. Insert, scale bar. You can choose anyone. Suppose this one. Here, scale bar. You can customize here also. Number of subdivision two kilometers, you can change to Kimi. Now 20, okay. Now go to file, export map. Tim, Timax, save it. You can see here, preview this look like see this line this line is not visible so close this one we have to select this and we have to drag it like this right click here go to properties border and choose border and click it okay now go to file print preview now see it is okay close this file Export map. Tmax two. So this is our final output. If you have any query, any question, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching this tutorial.